as one must produce, one must by all possible means of activity replace nature wherever it can be replaced. One must find a major field of action for human inertia. The worker must have something to keep him busy. New fields of activity must be created, in which we shall see at last the reign of all the fake manufactured products, of all the vile synthetic substitutes, in which beautiful, real nature has no part, and must give way finally and shamefully before all the victorious substitute products, in which the sperm of all the artificial and separation factories will make a miracle in order to produce armies and battleships. Fatigue as old as the world, the sense of having to carry one's body around, a feeling of incredible fragility which becomes a shattering pain, a state of painful numbness, a kind of numbness localized in the skin which does not inhibit any movement but which changes the internal sensation of a limb and changes the simple act of standing up straight the value of a, of a victorious effort. Probably localized in the skin, but felt as the radical elimination of a limb, and presenting to the brain only images of limbs that are thread-like and woolly, images of limbs that are far away and not where they should be, a sort of internal fracturing of the whole nervous system, a shifting vertigo, a sort of oblique bewilderment which accompanies every effort, a coagulation of heat which grips the entire surface of the skull, or is cut into pieces, shifting patches of heat. It isn't easy to accept that suffering can also be beautiful. It's difficult. It's something you can only understand if you dig deeply into yourself.